everybody. It's Monday. We're going to get a good start to the week. Welcome back to another week in my life. I've had a lovely morning to myself. Now we're headed to my Monday workout. I do workouts with my trainer Jane every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So we're getting started with it. I'm wearing this little set active set. I'm wearing my Air Forces because I'm currently in transition of athletic sneakers. So I just take off my shoes when I get there. So I think actually after my workout, I'm going to go and get myself a new pair of sneakers. I'm thinking either APLs or the Nike Metcons apparently are both good for like weight training. I did my little gym skincare makeup routine, my eyebrow gel and the glow screen. Got my tote. Who knows, we'll just see like where the day takes us. <laughs> Gonna go hop on a city bike and head to my workout. Also, I wanna say if you guys are new here, please make sure to subscribe. I've been getting some new friends on this channel, so I'm so happy. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, go follow me at Danielle Carolyn. I post stories of my day-to-day -day life on there and outfit photos and links and all the things. Also, go listen to my podcast that I have with my best friend, Brooke. It's our baby. It's called Gals on the Go Podcast. We've had it for about three years now, or yeah, almost more. So it's a good time. We upload new episodes every Wednesday, and it's fun over there. So yeah, I just thought I'd do that little self-plug, you know, never harms. And uh, let's start the day. Oh my goodness. Thank God I was a little early because the first city by docking area I went to, there were no slots open for me to park it. This one, there were none either, but one girl was leaving. All right, workout time. which we can never complain about that. Boy, did I do a number in Sephora. Okay, so I got more than I needed at Sephora, but I'm excited to do a haul for you guys when I get back. Now we're on the hunt for sneakers. I truly shower three times a day in the summer in the city. It is so hot out. I just got back. Um, I showered. I feel so much better. I have nowhere to be the rest of the day, but lots to do. But it all can happen from my humble abode, which I have just been really enjoying my me time. And like, if you guys have been watching my last few vlogs, you know, putting the shades down, putting on some Nora Jones, lighting the candles, making it super cozy in here maybe putting on a show i'm watching virgin river right now or like i kind of feel like putting on the movie endless love it's just i don't know i'm in a mood like that um and just getting a lot done i also told ryan i would help him with his move he's actually moving this weekend and he just told me i'm like i'm going to nantucket this weekend which i'm so excited and i'm going to be gone while he's moving it's because his roommate's parents are coming up so they can help them this weekend, so, and they got the keys, so they're just gonna move, and I'm like, oh my gosh, because we live, like, really close right now, and we're gonna live close once I move, but I'm still here for, like, another month, so I'm, like, I'm being so dramatic, and I fully know that, like, some people literally live in different states or countries than their boyfriend, so, and I've been there, um, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm so sad. Anyways, tangent, 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 um, he wants to have a more elevated bedroom. Like he does currently have navy sheets and um, he doesn't really like that. He also needs a headboard, just like little things and he works really, really hard all day, every day. And asked me, he's like, if I give you some money, will you like help me with my apartment? I was like, yes, say less. That sounds so much fun. Cause I'm not gonna be doing much for mine cause I'm just bringing everything. Whereas he kind of is like, I wanna like have a little bit elevated um of an apartment next year so i'm gonna look at some brooklyn sheets for him you know headboard some you know different things and his roommate also asked me to help them with their living room and stuff so i'm gonna look into that we also have a really exciting guest this week on the podcast or we're recording with them this week so we need to prep for that have a lot of emails to do computer work do stuff for my move like get cois and stuff for my building so they know okay daniel's moving on this day there will be an elevator reserved whatever all that stuff. Thought it'd be fun to do a little Sephora haul. I went in Sephora for this. 
the CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. You guys know this stuff is my ish. This com this combined with their Vitamin C um, CEO Brightening Cream or whatever that I use every day as well. Just a lovely duo, and it smells amazing, and I run out so fast because I use it day and night. I also needed more of the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I put this on. I put this on. And I also will use this right before I put on makeup and it seriously does make your skin look so dewy and amazing. I'll put this on after I shower too. It feels really good. Got more of the Revi Brow Sculpt. That's the brow gel I used this morning because I'm almost out and I love this stuff so much. I got more Laneige. This is actually a lot of stuff I already have. I just needed refills. So you know, you know. Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I've never had Berry though. I've had the Gummy Bear one and the Grapefruit one. So now I'm trying Berry. I got this. Um, it's the Tula. I'm actually going to show you guys what this is. The Tula Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Very interested in this because Kit posted on her Instagram story this morning. Oh, and she said she puts this in the refrigerator and then you just like put it under your eyes. I'm going to try it right now. But I'm going to do what she said. I'm oh, that does feel quite lovely. And then do I need to blend anything? I guess a little bit. Um, but she said putting it in the fridge like literally feels so good in the morning. So I was fully influenced by her For this I got more peace out puffy eyes Under eye patches. I think I'm also just gonna put some on right now because these feel amazing I also like these because they come individually um, And I don't always like to use individual ones obviously because of all the packaging, but I am going to Nantucket this weekend um, And I want to just be able to bring a few in like my travel bag instead of bringing a whole jar. And then lastly, I got the First Aid Beauty ingrown hair pads because two girls got ingrown hairs and I'm very self-conscious about them. I really, they just make me so unhappy. And they had a whole like ad area in Sephora for these. And a lot of women said, 96% um, of women said they saw a difference in their ingrown hairs. So I'm gonna use these, they're just little pads. I think like after a shower, you just wipe, you know, the skin down there. So, I guess I should do that right now since I just showered. Um, yeah, that's my little haul. Of course, I'm wearing my poppy set. My apartment is so cold and I just love it because when I come in from the heat, it's just an oasis here. <laughs> I, I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. Sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down, down Cause I ain't got nobody I always feel so lonely when the day is through It's a little bit later now I've just been sitting here Wow, I haven't heard my own voice in a while Cause I've just been like going like this um, And not talking But um, I'm honestly still working But I just like needed a moment to like be social and talk to you guys on the camera for a second because I remembered that I wanted to talk to you guys about something. So, <laughs> just like a couple things because like obviously my videos go up like a week later typically or like, you know, a few days after I'm actually vlogging it and then I see your comments and everything and so many people were like dying laughing at me trying to make a rap and you know, that was a really vulnerable thing to put on the internet and I appreciate you all just like having fun about it with me. So many of you sent me this one TikTok of someone like showing how to like properly roll a wrap and I'm gonna try it again. A lot of people said I needed to heat up the tortilla which completely makes sense honestly because it like allows it to mold better. So I will be trying that again. That was so embarrassing but I will get this wrap down and you know what, whatever, make fun of me because I can't do it. Like it's just tedious. All right, whatever. Two, on a more serious note, I kind of shared, you know, the anxiety I get around going to the doctor's office. I have health anxiety as well. And, um, and like two vlogs ago, I think it was, it was my one hour long vlog. I was talking about how I needed to go I needed to find a new doctor here in the city. I needed to get a blood test, like all these things. Um, and I kind of wanted to update you guys on that because I just feel like sharing with you guys is something that I want to do. And um, so basically the reason I was like supposed to go to the doctor was because I've been on my period for over a month now. And um, it's not the vibe. It's not like heavy. It's wow, here I am just sharing a lot with you guys. I've been on my period for about a month and it's not like intense. 
but it's like my period every day for over a month um, and it was kind of freaking me out because then you know you go down the rabbit hole of googling like period for over a month and all the things that come up are you you know I'll be on TikTok and there are all these all these TikToks about oh I've been on my period for longer than a month and this is what happened to me I had to get emergency surgery like all these different things and I was like really getting anxious about it and so my gynecologist is back in Florida and I was doing like televisits with her messaging her and there's only so much she could do like behind a computer for me. She was like, why don't you get a blood test to test your thyroid and see if you're hypo or hyperthyroid. Um, you know, sometimes that or that will affect like your hormones and everything. Um, and I was just like so anxious about it and I just kept putting it off. She was like, and like my trainer said it best today, my trainer Jane, I was telling her about this. Like when I go to the doctor and then and then they say, you know, oh, we'd love for you to go, you know, get some blood work done. And I'm like, great. So I won't be doing it because they're always like, you know, we'll have to make a follow up appointment for that. And I'm like, OK, well, I'm just never going to make that follow up appointment. Like, huh? like and I know jokes on me because it's like about my health, but like it literally would just make me so nervous. I had a really bad blood test experience when I was younger. And so every time I have to get one, I just freak out. Anyways, I found a gynecologist here in the city that my friend um, Margo Lee goes to and I went last week and they were so amazing, so nice because I was like, I need someone to like look at me physically and make sure I'm okay because I was just getting in my head that I had like a cyst or something. I was just like freaking out. Um, and so that was a lot just to go to the doctor's office because you're like this impending doom of like, what if they tell me something's wrong with me? Like if I just keep putting it off, then like I'm fine, you know? Like I know that's not a good thing, but I'm just sharing with you guys how I felt. So I get there, they're super cool, so efficient, whatever, so nice, and you know, they did all these different things, so they had me um, do, well, so I get there, and they're like, okay, we wanna do some blood work, and I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, and they go, right now, and I'm like, <gasps> I didn't know what to do. I like couldn't be like, okay, no, not right now. Like if they could do it there and then I was like, okay, like I'm just gonna swallow my pride and do this. So the girl comes in and she's like about to do my blood work. And I'm like, just so you know, like I get nervous. Like I don't faint at the sight of blood or anything, but like I just get scared. So if you don't mind, I'm just gonna like tell you about my weekend while you take my blood. She's like, okay. And for the thyroid one, I guess they like don't even have to take a whole tube, whatever, sorry details. But <laughs> she literally like, touched my skin and it was done and I was like wait have you done it yet and she was like yeah it's done and showed me and I was like oh my gosh that was so easy I can't believe I've been so dramatic about it this whole time like I'm seriously so embarrassed but honestly I'm so happy that they just ripped the band-aid and literally did it there because I would have just never gotten myself to do it and it was so not bad at all they're so good and so amazing and then I also did a sonogram so like the inside of my uterus and my ovaries which was actually like a really beautiful thing to see like the girl was so cool and I just got to like lay down and I got to literally watch the screen of like what's inside me, which was really cool. Sorry, I'm just getting really graphic, but all was well. There was nothing there. The doctor took a look at the sonogram like scan or whatever it's called and everything was good. And then I just found out yesterday that my blood test came back, um, that everything was normal, all is well. So I don't have a thyroid problem. Um, and that was just like a real, I mean, like, I just feel so much better and I can't believe this I've been putting this off for a few weeks of like trying to figure out what's wrong with me I was just so scared and I went and I did it and thankfully this doesn't always happen but thankfully I did get really amazing results and I'm so happy and so now it's just basically they were saying okay then this is a hormonal imbalance like it should settle itself out in about a month and if not then we'll talk about different birth control options um because I also they just switched my birth control too to see if that'll help <sighs> I just feel so much better and if, if you guys have health anxiety or anxiety about going to the doctors You are not alone and I completely understand but man oh man Does it make you feel better when you finally go and they finally tell you because then okay Let's say something is wrong then they will help you through it and they will get you to those next steps So I am so thankful. I literally started crying so hard after the appointment like I literally walked out I'm like in Soho with my earbuds in just like listening to dramatic music like thank you god thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for my health like our bodies are so beautiful and i'm just so grateful so i just wanted to share that with you guys because i didn't want to like say what was going on because i was just honestly scared that i would say my period and then everyone would comment like oh my god you might have this you might have that and i just i, I didn't have the mental capacity to handle that to be honest so now that it's all happened i am okay i wanted to update you guys there um but if you're feeling like anxious or there's something doesn't feel right with your body go to the doctor like, it honestly is so, so much better. You know, like, I just, I just feel a lot better. So, and I'm grateful that I have the privilege to be able to have insurance and to be able to go do stuff. And I know that's not easy for everybody, but if you can make it happen, it is so reassuring um, and just so helpful. 
my camera just died um but yeah so that is a little update there i thought i'd share that with you guys i'm gonna get back to work i think i'm gonna break out some pita chips and hummus here shortly because that just sounds so good i'm actually while i'm doing stuff i'm watching this movie called the lost husband on netflix i just love any sort of romance situation and honestly the reason i'm watching this in particular is because Josh Jumel is in it and I literally love Josh Jumel. He is like my celebrity crush. I don't know why. Well, I know why. I'm just attracted to him. Um, like Safe Haven, ugh, life as we know it. Like ugh. when in Rome, like he is just so hot. He is so hot. So that's what I'm watching in the background. It's good so far. We. Hi guys, I'm now folding laundry and my next movie is Age no. of Adeline. It's so good so far. I also turned on the purple lights in here for the vibes, and I really like it. Um, that is the update. That is what's going on in this apartment. I just put some incense in the sink because sometimes, like, if I keep the trash too long, it, like, smells weird over here, you know? So I'm about to take out the trash, but so what I'll do is I'll light incense. Same with, like, in the bathroom. If it doesn't smell amazing, I will light incense. And the scent and like obviously because you light it and then blow it out and there's like smoke that comes out. It is just, it really masks the scent is what I'm trying to say. And then it just goes. Goodbye stinky garbage. Hello yumminess. Ryan's here. Whoa. He brought over ice cream. Mm -hmm. So we're eating some ice cream. We just finally finished the Truman Show because we fell asleep watching it last night and now I don't know what we're gonna watch next. There's so many ways we can go with this. The world is our oyster. <laughs> you guys good morning just went on my weekly hot girl walk with jazz i can't even like sh i'm my i should have worn all black because this shows sweat and my like literal butt crack is sweating and other areas so that's really really just humbling um whew. oh my gosh it's so hot we walked along the east river it was really nice to have like a little bit of breeze but then we started walking back into like the city we were dying I was planning on walking for longer. Well, we walked for an hour. It's 10.58, we left at 10. We walked for about an hour. Oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> I'm all showered, eye patches on, I'm wearing Gals in the Go Don't Text merch. You can get it, galsinthegopodcast.com. I love this hoodie so much. I've come to the end of my planner. This is the planner I designed with Doing Well Daily. It's not available on the website anymore. Um, so hopefully you guys got it when you did, um, but maybe I'll do another planner one day. Comment down below if you guys would want me to because I've thought about it, but I didn't know if you guys still want that because, like, I'm not, like, I released these when I was in college and a lot of you guys were students, so I, like, don't know the vibes, but I have this one left still. This is, like, literally with the packaging and everything still, and it came with a felt pen so you could trace. I'm, like, so emo. I can't believe I, this is my third book now, I think. <sighs> So this I also designed with Sid at Doing All Daily. And it also came with this little sticker and then the felt pen. I'm so excited to start a new one. I mean, that's always fun. May this book allow you to start every day with a smile on your face, gratitude, and a plan of action. I hope this inspires you to take on each day with a new mindset. That's my little signature. My favorite quote still to this day, she believed she could, so she did. And this is like a little example. I need to like do another one of these or something. Let me know down below if you guys want me to because I love it and I love how it's made for any day. Like you just put the date, whatever. I just love planners like this. So 
I'm gonna fill out today's work is like in school I used work as school and then side hustle as like my YouTube and podcast and everything but now I use work as podcast YouTube and now side hustle is like random stuff that I need to get done like for my move or whatever it may be I also will use this felt pen or marker to trace the quote write what I'm grateful for all the things I just love it so I'm gonna do this now so just go to Whole Foods now. True. I was so excited when I realized I was moving because I was like, well, I'll need some help rearranging and a little, a little change up. So thanks for helping me with this. I will. So this is a mood board for just like the apartment in general. Yeah, just like overall feel. Love. Maybe. It's a lot of space that needs to be utilized, but yeah. it's not as and be like, you know, like above a console table or maybe just like a freestanding mirror. You know, I don't know what you're kind of looking for in that regard, but I feel like if we did, or well, maybe you don't. So, I mean, we can definitely find a place. Okay, guys, as you heard, I just hopped off the phone with Sierra Belanger. She's the amazing interior designer who helped me create this apartment. And a lot of you guys are like, I can't wait to see your next apartment, like see what you do with it. And to be honest, like I spent a lot of money on the stuff I have now and I purposely got these pieces because I feel like they're very timeless. And so I'm obviously taking them with me, but I am changing up a few things. So I just got off the phone with her because obviously it's like a different layout and my living room is a little bit longer in my next apartment. So we just like had an initial phone call to kind of talk about. She made a little mood board that I showed you guys that is just so fun because my windows right now, if you guys can see here, they're like white panels but at my next place they're actually black so i was like i feel like we should lean into the black accents and do some black accents in my next apartment or just like some darker accents but keeping it bright still so we just had an initial call and i don't get my keys to my apartment until september 9th but they're gonna let me and sierra go in on september 1st and do like a i'll do like an empty apartment tour probably that day and then also take all the measurements we need because um, they like gave us the layout but it has very minimal um, measurements and so I I'm not like purchasing anything else for my apartment until like we get in and see it because we were thinking because there's a hallway in my next apartment we want to utilize that so we were talking about stuff like that and then I also have an island so I'll need to get bar stool so it was a good chat we talked for like 40 minutes I love her if you guys are looking for someone to help you in any sort of capacity with interior design Sierra Belanger interiors is so good I've used her, Brooke has used her, Margot Oshry has used her, like, people love her. And I know some of you guys have also worked with her, so that makes me really happy. She's just amazing and does great work, and she created this amazing apartment with me. I literally told her I want one hotel vibes, and she delivered. So I'm excited to work on her, work on my next apartment with her. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of emails. I'm uploading the Gals in the Go episode to YouTube right now, and then, um... I'm gonna go uptown to Vivrel and exchange my bags. Cause right now I have two Fendi bags. It's like a, a borrowing bag service, which I love. About to go to Nantucket this weekend, obviously. So I want to um, switch out some bags. I love going to Vivrel. Their showroom is so beautiful. <laughs> Time to make some lunch. I'm just gonna be using all kinds of things in my fridge. I have some ground turkey I still need to cook and I'm going to use this taco seasoning to make it taste delightful. <laughs> Black beans, corn, I have some rice. I'm not gonna use the upcut, I'm gonna save that for breakfast tomorrow, I think. And then tomatoes and just, and I also have lettuce that I will cut up and just make some sort of bowl situation. It's gonna be good. Wow, if I do say so myself, this looks pretty amazing. I did a lettuce base put rice, then the ground turkey, and then I added corn and tomatoes to the top. Mwah. Oh, there's some lettuce. So good. All right, round two, headed out there into the heat. I'm probably gonna have to shower when I get back again, I'm just not realizing. Um, romper is from Aloe. I love it, it's just super easy outfit. This Lululemon fanny pack stays with me. Air Force Ones, and then I've got my Vivrel tote bag here with the bags, and I'm gonna trade them out. Let's head over.
Guys, I'm so happy. Sorry, I have teeth whitening strips in. I don't know what's come over me, <laughs> but I decided to organize my bathroom because I know when I, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, my teeth whitening strips. I know that when I move, I'm gonna have to kind of do a lot of like clearing out. Like I had so many products in there that were empty that I could recycle, stuff like that. So I just took the liberty of doing that. Um, my shower looks amazing. I had like a ton of stuff above my, um, whatever this is over the toilet storage. So I organized that and put it all in here. I just like had stuff on the ground, whatever. I'm not unpacking my toiletry bag because I'm about to go to Nantucket. So I'm just like keeping that there. And then I also went through and reorganized this because it easily will get really unorganized. So I'm feeling good. I'm gonna stay on this roll. Now I think I'm gonna wash a ton of my bathing suits because I was actually talking to Brooke about it and whoo, and she was like, I was actually talking to Brooke about it and she was like, I wash my bathing suits all the time. Like I just do delicate and then they'll let them air dry. And I've just like, I never do that. I'll just like wash them in the shower. So I'm gonna collect a ton of bathing suits that I've been wearing lately and pop them in the wash. I have so many lovely laundry detergents here. I love my little buffet. Um, and I'm gonna use the delicate wash from Laundress and just like wash on like a delicate cycle of my bathing suit. So getting my life together, it feels so good. Things are just happening right now. Um, this is my little storage box of swimsuits and swimsuit cover-ups and there's just a lot that I don't wear honestly don't fit me and I've just like I didn't return them because I like try it whatever and I have they're like really nice bathing suits and I texted Jazz because she's going to Europe tomorrow for two weeks and I was like and she's going on a cruise so I was like do you need any bathing suits because when I was giving away my clothes she's like can I come look through them but it didn't work out with like timing and stuff before I donated them so I was like I have a ton of bathing suits and she was like yes 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 so I'm about to go bring all these to her. I'm so happy they're gonna have a great home. And I'm just finishing putting everything back on my cover-ups and then I'm also like pulling bathing suits and certain things for my Nantucket trip. I am now <laughs> organizing my shoes because believe it or not, I have so many shoes lodged in on either side. And I was just, I mean, you guys probably saw my last few vlogs. Everything was just piled up right here. So I'm just reorganizing and putting like shoes that I wanna wear more towards the front because yes like I can go look but obviously naturally you pick the things that are more visible to you like a part of me wants to take all these boots and switch them out but that just like sounds like a lot of work but also maybe I should because I'm gonna be moving from here in a month so like like I was gonna say oh it's almost fall but like I won't be touching these until I move Whereas all this stuff is more like summery. I mean, these are just sneakers, but like, like, look how cute these are. I haven't even worn them yet because they were hidden. I hate that. So maybe, yeah, maybe actually I'll move all these so I have more storage here and I can like pile up sneakers and stuff. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. Wow, I am so happy with this situation. Um, I put like the heels I've been wearing a lot lately, including the nude ones, because I know I won't forget about those because I always pull for them. My white Air Force Ones. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, these are the sneakers I ended up going with for training because they're very like flat foot, which is good for like weight training and stuff like that. Um, it keeps you nice and balanced. So I went with the APLs. So excited. Um, and they're really, really comfy. Put all my sneakers here. My other sneakers, should I say. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this situation. I'll be able to close these doors. These two pairs of sneakers, I'm just washing everything right now, so I'm gonna wash these two pairs of white sneakers because I have a method I do where I like put a towel in between the two so it like doesn't make too much noise. And then I have this like whitening powder from Branch Basics that I use and it really helps. <laughs> day ahead literally gonna be on the go and doing lots of gals on the go stuff I am headed to my workout I'm bringing my little stony clover duffel bag with a change of clothes and makeup and all of that because we're gonna shower at the gym going to the dry bar to get my hair done for the next few days 
and then eat lunch and do my makeup at the Gals on the Go studio because we're having a really fun, we're doing a podcast swap with another podcast that I'm really excited about that I personally listen to, so stay tuned for that. And then we're also do recording just a normal episode for next week. Um, so yeah, lots to do, I'm very excited. Here's the work outfit today. My duffel bag literally says on the go, so it feels very appropriate. Wearing my new APL sneakers, excited to see how they go in my workout. Let's get started with the day. Makeup is done. I love getting my hair done and then doing my makeup. It just kind of pulls everything together. If you guys are wondering, when I go to the dry bar, I ask for the straight up. It's one of their hairstyles on their little menu and I ask for rounded ends. And this is what you get. I really, really like it. I My blowout only lasted like 35 minutes. So I, I like had a lot more time than I thought. And then I went and got Chipotle. I got a burrito this time. I never do that. Then I did my makeup obviously, but now I have like 30 minutes till Brooke gets here. So I'm just gonna respond to some emails. I wish I brought my computer so bad, but that's okay. I don't really like to respond to emails on my phone, but I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll go on Instagram live a little, you know, we'll see. But yeah, this is the first outfit. This top is from Zara and then I'm wearing some white jeans from Mother. Um, and yeah, so we're first having our guests on and then I'm gonna switch search shirts. I have another shirt over there and then we're gonna do our big episode. Today went so well. I'm so, so happy with how the episodes turned out. I just came back. I got my Remy Bader with Revolve collaboration, three pieces in the mail. I got a couple pieces. So flattering, also amazing. Go check out my TikTok or Instagram, both linked down below. I did try on hauls, so go there if you guys wanna see. Just go follow me on a TikTok and Instagram. It's a good time. Just about to grab my suitcase and pack everything. I'm headed to Nantucket in the morning. I'm so excited. Um, so here's everything I'm packing. We're going for three nights. Definitely overpacking. I'm fully aware, but I think it gets like chillier at night. Like, I just don't know. I, I don't know the vibes and I want to be prepared. So here are the swimsuits I'm bringing. I'm bringing one one piece too. And this is giving Nantucket. And then I have this like little black number. These are a couple different tops I'm bringing. My pants. I also... By the time this is up, I posted a TikTok thing, outfits I packed for Nantucket. I'm just like in a mood. I don't know what's happening. A ton of dresses. I just got a ton of dresses from Fashion Pass and they're all so cute. And then this bag I got from Vivrell. I'm like so excited to wear this with a ton of different things. Those two bags and this O-Kind bag will be like my little um, beach bag. And then I have a couple of like these pinstripe like shorts and pants sets. I feel like that's just easy. Cover-ups as well. A tennis skirt, a couple tanks. And then like a short sleeve sweat set. So that's everything I'm packing. Oh, gotta pull the shoes too. I already pulled these two pairs of shoes. So my Rays and then my Javianas. And then I'll probably, well, probably, I will definitely be bringing these from Ray as well. You guys know I'm wearing those so much. And then honestly, like looking at everything here. Oh, and then a pair of sneakers that I'll probably maybe we're on the plane and that's really it. All right, I'm just about packed up. I'm loving this base suitcase, very impressed. Uh, the white jeans I wore today got a little dirty and I want to bring them on the trip. I'm getting all the use out of my white pants until Labor Day, because apparently you know that rule. No white after Labor Day. 
Um, not that I really care about that, but whatever. Anyways, just about packed. I just have to do my undergarments in this one right here. Shoes, yeah, everything's in there. And then toiletries, obviously, in the morning. So I've got my laundry going. I think I'm going to wear a dress on the plane tomorrow because we asked about early check-in and they cannot make it happen. So... It's like an hour flight and Katie and I were texting because it's just me, Katie, and Kenzie going tomorrow and then Margo and Brooke are coming on Friday. And we were like, okay, if we all agree to land, like fly with, well, Kate, Katie and I are flying from New York. We agreed to both like wear dresses so we're like together and then like some jean jackets. I don't know. I've always wanted to do that and I feel like Nantech is a place to arrive in style, you know? I'm just packing up my um, carry-on bag here. And yeah, that's it. I just took off my makeup and I put, I'm going to put some self-tanner on my face. And then I'm gonna hit the hay. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching this vlog. I had so much fun sharing my week with you. Subscribe for new videos. Stay tuned for my next vlog, which will be Nantucket, which is exciting. I'm literally so excited to go tomorrow. I'm like so excited. And yeah, follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn. Follow me on TikTok at Danielle underscore Carolyn. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.